Welcome to today's Q&A with Dr. B. Today's question comes from some of our iOS students who wanted to know how to set Firefox as their default web browser. When you install Windows 10 or upgrade to Windows 10, Microsoft Edge ends up being your default web browser. And a lot of people like to use other web browsers instead of Microsoft Edge. Not that anything's wrong with Microsoft Edge, it's just some people prefer to use what they're used to. I prefer Google Chrome and so what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is use set up Google Chrome as your default web browser but you would do the same procedure to set up Firefox or any other web browser that you have installed on your computer and you want to set it up as your default the way to do this is you click on the Windows icon here in the left hand corner and go to settings now the easiest way to find the default app settings in the upper right hand corner in this search bar type in default app settings and notice it comes up as our first one here and I'm going to just click on that one time and there we can choose the default apps we want for our different things we use in our computer and I'm going to scroll down right now and go to web browser click on the Microsoft Edge here and you can choose whichever one you want out of this list I'm gonna choose Google Chrome and that's it now Google Chrome is now set as my default web browser so when I go to open links from emails or other things that would open in a web browser it will now use Google Chrome to do so Another one I like to change is the Photo Viewer app. The new Photos app drives me crazy for some reason. And so I like to change the Photo app to the old, simple Windows Photo Viewer app. That way I get my old Photo Viewer back from Windows 7 and it works great. So that's how to change default apps. You can change all of these. You can change your email default email app your default maps app, music player, photo viewer, video player, and web browser. Now if you make some changes and then you don't like the changes you can always click here and it'll reset them to the Microsoft recommended defaults. So that's how you change your default web browser in Windows 10. Hope you enjoyed today's Q&A with Dr. B. See you next time.